Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Before we listen to the good news this morning, before we share the body and blood of the risen Christ, let us once again ask our loving God to continue to be patient with us. O loving God, you are our strength as we journey in faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sent food in abundance and brought the holy people of Jerusalem to the holy land. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, continue, please continue to give us the grace to finish the journey. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whom taught by this Holy Spirit, we dare to call you Father. We pray, bring to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into inheritance which you have so often promised. We ask this through Christ the Lord. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hard cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then he strengthened that food. He walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Be to God. from the letter of St. Paul 
to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice and be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and his mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him or her, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God, and everyone who listens to my Father and listens from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life, and your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, and whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know how you feel, but it's with joy that we can celebrate the liturgy and bring it to our brothers and sisters who cannot be here for liturgy. And I'm sure that some of you know some people who watch the liturgy. I have two or three people, and a very, very dear friend of mine, Joel, who is only 35, 40 years old, and he cannot get out of his house, okay? So he watches the liturgy, though, um, every Sunday morning, and it is all you people who are watching this liturgy, um, we want to assure you, even this little congregation here, that is with joy that we celebrate this liturgy. Um, uh, the guy in the first reading, Elijah, he's like all of us. Uh, we get tired of the journey. We get tired of being good. Um, we get tired of um, worshiping. We get tired of trying to live the Beatitudes in, the, in Matthew 25, what have we have done for our sisters and brothers. But uh, Elijah is our is a, a model for this liturgy. So he gets tired. He has to go and prophesy to the uh, Israelites. They're doing a bad job in their relationship with God. They're breaking all the rules, and Yahweh is very, very disturbed. So he starts his little ministry as a prophet, and he gets tired and decides to just go to sleep under a tree, as we just heard. And he goes to sleep, and, and an angel of the Lord comes, or a couple of people come, and they give him a little bread and a little water. He says, now here, refresh yourself and get on with your journey. 
get connected with God. And he does. Once he's connected with God, he goes and he finishes his mission. Got to be connected to God. I have a very, very dear friend who passed away just about a year ago. Ovarian cancer. Very dear friend. And sometimes we priests, when we're on the bedside of someone who's dying, we do everything we're supposed to do. We anoint, we pray, we say a few pertinent words. But the time comes that the priest doesn't know what else to say. And this woman knew that. She could sense my uncomfortableness. And she said to me, just before she died, perhaps 15 minutes later, she says, Joe, don't worry about anything. I'm connected to God. Okay? That's the lesson of this first reading. We gotta be connected to God and we will finish the journey. Let us profess our faith by praying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, <clears throat> creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. O oh, loving and gracious God, we listen to your words, and now we pray that we live by them. And now we ask you to listen to our requests. For all members of the church, may they believe ever more firmly and live ever more fully the mystery of Jesus, who gave himself to us as the bread of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people of the world, may they learn what God teaches and come to salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, may they come to Jesus and receive his life giving care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us, may we learn from Jesus how to give ourselves more fully for the life of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for listening to us, oh loving God. You so often call us your little children in the scriptures. And so like little children, we politely ask you to grant us an answer to all our requests, which we make in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Mm. Brothers and sisters, let us pray that our sacrifice today may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. O 
Oh, gracious God, be pleased to accept the offerings of your church, the people of God. For in your mercy, you have given them to be offered, and by your power, you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to our loving God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just in our duty and our salvation always, everywhere, to joyfully give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to be like us in all things except sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, Jesus, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, O oh, gracious God, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we sing. You are indeed holy, O gracious God. You are the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord and brother, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, O oh gracious God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, and remember, Lord, your church, all the people of God, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all people called to ministry. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the realization of rising again. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to your home. We pray for ourselves. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be with them in eternal life 
and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty God, forever and ever. Let us pray the way Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you once said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your spirit. and let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. pray.
May the communion in your sacraments that we have consumed, O gracious God, save us and confirm us in the light of your truth and always give us grace and confidence and courage to continue the journey of faith. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended, so let us go to love and to serve one another. Thanks be to God. I'm certainly sure you appreciate the celebration of Mass and how much it means to you and means to so many in the community to be the heart of a worshiping community, to give praise to Christ. And so I ask you uh, in your goodness to continue your support and generous support of our television ministry here in the Diocese of Las Vegas. And may God bless you for your generosity. <laughs>